Hi everybody, it's Claudia with Real Progressives and I'm here in Olympia, Washington and I just ran into this phenomenal woman, Jennifer Gigi Ferguson and here she is and she's running for U.S. Senate as a write-in right in. candidate and we definitely need her. I just heard her story so maybe you'll give me the download on that real quick. <laughs> I ran for U.S. Congress in the primary in the 10th Congressional. They messed with my votes. Needless um, to say. Needless to say, the incumbent. Uh, I was actually have been told. They were told, um, his staff was told to hate me and um, that I'm a liar. So oh my God. that is what went out like two to three weeks uh, before the election. And I think that's... <laughs> Hold on, stay with us. Here we go. Yay, we're back. The connection is a little spotty in here. All right, we're back. So keep going, Gigi. You were, you were basically cheated out of the congressional race. I was cheated out. I was a Bernie delegate. Yeah. I was really, really honored to be a Bernie delegate. And it's funny because some people said I just tried to jump on the bandwagon. Well, in reality, I went to my precinct, and there was someone talking about Bernie. And when they finished, I said, I'm sorry, but I have to respectfully disagree with just about everything you said. And I told them I had to because in 2012, I ran against the incumbent. In 2013, they treated me so badly. Wow. I was looking for something and I found Bernie. Right. So I studied him and Bernie actually marched in Chicago, which is where I was I was born. I was born in the right. projects Aww. with my mom and a bit wife in Chicago. Right. And he marched not far from where I was born. Oh amazing. And so I just studied him and I was like I'm gonna run as an independent. Good for you. I love this guy. I'm gonna run as an independent, and that's what I did. Right. So the Democrats changed all of their rulings and oh, everything course. in my legislative district, so they did not have to endorse me. Right. So right. with them not endorsing me, it stopped most of the other legislative districts from endorsing me. It also stopped me from getting Vote Builder, which was the Democratic access to right. the voters. Right. So it left me on my own. Right. But we still pulled 17,000 votes. Amazing. And the Bernie Kratz came and to me and said, which position do you want, U.S. Senator or Governor? And I'm like, what? They're like, you qualify for both of them. And I said, I know absolutely nothing about being a governor, but I do know how to be a senator. Right. And so I said, awesome. I'll, I'll run for the Senate. And so they're saying they wanted to do it to make a statement. Right. But for me, it's more than a statement. Yeah. Because I'm a marriage and family therapist. I'm a chemical dependency counselor. Awesome. I've worked with families who have lost their kids to the state wow. and had those kids returned. Right. And it comes from my background because I lost my mother to cancer right. before I was eight. My brothers wow. and I were separated. And we were kind of, my dad and I was not ready to be a father or a single parent. So we were homeless right. for a little bit. Wow. So I understand what people are going through today yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I and I've worked inside the federal government I've they had a contract with the state so I understand the government and that is what we need and we need people with compassion which you clearly have no yes. seriously we need human beings in government not robots that are yes. bought I mean we need we need humans not machines and and I couldn't be happier that you're running. I'm so <laughs> thrilled to you. I think that's amazing. And I'm going to tell you, my um, website is vote Jennifer G G G I G I Ferguson dot com, and I could really use some donations. Great. If yep. you're in Washington State, please write me in for U.S. Senate because awesome. I really want to take that seat and I do know what I'm doing. I lobby in DC twice a year. Great. I lobby in Olympia um, three times a year. Sometimes it's been once a year in DC. Sometimes a couple times it's been twice a year. Yeah. But I get through and I talk to my legislators and my legislators know me. Whether right. they're Democrat or Republican, they right. know me and they know I don't play. 
Great. And awesome, I Gigi. Blast and I'm going to just put... Uh, Let me turn this around for a second. So here is Gigi's um, flyer. And I just wanted to give that a quick uh, shout out. So this way you can at home stop the video if you want to and read through her platform, basically. And... Um, and so I appreciate you all watching. And like we said, Chi Chi could use some donation. She is running the good, the good run. And she's a good human being. And that is truly what we need a lot, a lot more of. Thank so you. Because so I closed my nonprofit to do this. Aww. I closed my nonprofit yep. to run. And so we've taken no corporate money. My right. husband and I have paid for this. My husband's a letter carrier Aww. and a retired veteran. So yeah. we, we can use it. So please help her out. And again, it's votejenniferggferguson.com. And, you know, do the right thing. Do the $27. $27. $27 is all it's going to take. So please help her out. She's a phenomenal Thank lady. You. I love you, Chi Chi. I'm so you happy too. I ran into you. I Thank can't even believe it. That's too. so great. So thanks, everybody, for Thank watching. You. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.